That's right, I said it. I, I know it's true. Because see, the point is, he's already appeared to me and told me what he's going to do to you. That's why I'm talking to you boldly. If you do not repent, and I'm talking to every pastor out there, and uh, all the, if you're a traitor against me or whatever, <clears throat> make sure you forward this to them. Or if you're a friend, do it both. But I want you to send it to every pastor. I want to say this to every pastor. If you turn away people from seeing Jesus face to face by speaking evil of me or making it like that, trying to make it look like it's about me, because you know it's really not about me. I never made my ministry about me. It's never about me. It's about Jesus. You're going to give an account for turning people away for the very reason why they come to your church. They're coming for Jesus and not for you, idiot. And when you do foolishness like that, God is going to get your butt. You're going to get gotten. You got me? No, I'm not a regular pastor. So don't even try to judge me. Well, uh, look at the way he's talking. He's not even talking right. Screw you. There it goes right there again. See that? Ask me, do I care? In front of millions of people, I'll say it again. You see, I'm tired of this political correct foolishness. One of the reasons why Christ backed me is because I don't play games. And I will not play games with this religious church and with these religious leaders. A bunch of you are liars. And you know you're liars. And I invite you. Which one of you are warriors enough to take me down? None of you. I invoke you. I invoke your challenge. I want to prove to you who God is with because he sure ain't with you. He with me. I'm talking about in the matter between you and me. If there's a contest between you and me and what I'm doing and what you're doing for God, God will never back you against me. He will always back me against you. Yeah, that's right. I said that. I want to say this to leaders who are constantly fighting Jesus your enemy to the cross of Christ your enemy your antichrist do you just hear this young man's testimony his apostle told him that this ministry was not of God but here it is his king and emperor God the father and Jesus comes to him in a dream what pastor what apostle can speak against that you are evil if you do such a thing you're actually you're not really serving Jesus you're serving yourself because you know what you just want members in your church and you don't want to lose nobody but see if you would have let him go right I bet your church would have exploded and I can discern right now in the spirit this this man you were under his church is doing nothing I guarantee you is that true that's what I saw. I saw it shut down. God told me, he says, every pastor who speaks evil of you and try to stop face to face, I will shut their ministry down. Because this is not David E. Taylor. The moment you speak against me, you've just spoken against Jesus and you're being anti-Christ. Oh, brother, you see, look at the spirit on him now. He's angry. Freak, no, I'm not angry. That's right, I said freak. I like messing with religious people. That's why I talk like that. Because they think, oh, you shouldn't talk like that. You're supposed to be holy. I am holy. I'm not your kind of holiness. I don't try to be. I'm so sick of the religious spirit. I will kill that spirit any moment I get. Because they're the ones who killed Jesus. You want to know who killed Jesus? Religious people. It wasn't Rome, it was religious people who set him up to die. And they will set you up to die. Here it is, right in front of a lot of these pastors' faces. These people are giving testimonies, the members that Jesus is coming to them. And you have the nerve to tell them they don't need to follow this. You need to take your sorry tale and get your butt here too. Because he's your king too. And you know you ain't got it like this. That's right, I said it. You don't have God in your life. Not like this. Not on this dimension. 
every pastor, every leader, every apostle, every fivefold ministry officer need to be a part of God's face-to-face -face movement. If you're not, you're in rebellion to the king. I'm going to say it again. I have the seal of the imperial power. I've been given the seal of power. And I, I'm the key holder on earth to the kingdom. And if you reject this, because see, I can speak on pain of death before witnesses and before millions of people. You can't do that. On pain of death, I can say that Jesus has appeared to me and I'm willing for him to kill me if I'm lying. 